sunny beaches, whitewashed churches, and fine fanny. This is how most tourists see Goa as. Over time, many stereotypes have been created in the minds of people. European food habits, dressing, music, and architecture certainly gives an impression. But there have been impressions of Hindu, Muslim, pre-Hindu animist cultures and Eastern and Asian influences. It is often believed that the population of Goa mainly consists of Christians. But that's not true. According to 2011 census, population of Goa, 66.08% of Hindus, 25.10% of Christians. Perhaps this is the less known face of Goa. Let's put some light on its temples and cultural heritage. Temples in Goa are beautiful and the architecture and traditions explains a lot about this place and its people. Mangesh Mangesh Location Prior Fonda Taluka. The original temple of Mangesh was located in the village of Kortalin, Kushasthari. The origin deity lie in the antiquity. The Gaudas, a tribe of earliest settlers in Goa, are said to have worshipped the form still enjoying the dibs during the ritual of the temple. The legend of Mangesh is in the essence of a tale of the love between Shiva and Parvati. Shantadurva It is believed according to a famous mythological story once there was a heated fight between Shankar and Vishnu Bhagwan, which lasted to almost two years. To calm his destructive tension, Brahma prayed and performed Yajna to resolve this fight. Because of his prayers, Goddess Jagdamba took a form of Shantadurga. She is known as Goddess of Peace and Harmony. Kamakshi Temple Gomantak has been known as the land of God and Goddesses. The temple of Kamakshi in Goa is located amidst hills in the village of Shiroda and was built in the late 16th century. The image of Kamakshi which is actually worshipped at Shiroda is that of Mahishasur Mardini. Hence it is Mahishasur Mardini who is worshipped as Kamakshi at Shiroda and is called as Kamakshi for her enormous eyes. Some scholars trace the origin of Kamakshi of Goa to Kamarupa. Sayadri Khanda states that she came from Rai from Kaur located in Coimbatore district. Nagesh Nageshi Temple The influence of Naga cult in Goa and in the adjoining regions could be traced with the help of copper plate of Shiroda which clearly indicates that the Hindu society of 400 AD in this region had worshipped Nagas. In Goa there are two villages bearing the same name Nagoa one in Bardes Taluka and the second one in Salset. Before the spread of Vedic culture in Goa region, the linga of Nagesh may have been consecrated by the Gavdas and worshipped in the Nageshi shrine of Fonda Taluka. There are two well-known shrines of Nagesh in Fonda Taluka namely Prior and Pandivade. In Hindu tradition, Nagesh is a manifestation of Lord Shiva and one of the 12 Jyoti Lingas, the ancient shrine of Nagesh in the village of Bandipur. Ramnath Temple The name Lord Ramnath comes from the place Rameshwar. 
it is said that lord ram after slaying ravana in the battlefield with remorse at the killing in order to seek redemption for his act he installed a shivalinga symbol of lord shiva on the shores and hence came to known as rameshwar or ramnath this temple is located about 22 kilometers from panji Apart from these temples there are many famous temples in Goa such as the Lakshmi Narsiha Mahalakshmi Shantadurga Brahma Temple Mallikarjuna Mahasa and many more Goa has a special role in the practice of Hinduism It was the Aryans who first brought Hinduism The Hindu in Portuguese Goa however remained insulated from what was happening to their core religion in other parts of india the temples in goa reflects architectural heritage structures created after the evacuation during the muslim and portuguese regime still reveal some rich features the temples of goa are like most of the hindu temples in india based around a deity which is worshiped The architecture of Goan temples is certainly different from other temples. Because of the Portuguese destructive intentions, the temples are built below the plateau level and you have to walk downwards to visit the temple. Another interesting element is Deepastamba, which is placed in front of every temple. Deepastamba is very beautiful when built. Almost every temple in Goa has this feature. People also worship this. The basic structure mainly consists of mud and wood and not cement, which makes the wall strong and huge. They were built as to protect from the enemies. The structure of temples is such that if you stand near the Deepastamba, you can see the main garbha. After the upper samba one peculiar thing about goan temples is tari Tari is a small pond tank in which water from nearby rivers is collected It is used for taking bath and storage of water A separate well is maintained and the water is used only for the god and goddess This helps in maintaining the purity of the temple as well as people to maintain the sanctity and purity sections were made like garbha like santam the area of pradakshina and chok to enter the santam you have to be perfect physically and mentally except for the priest the entry is restricted for the normal people apart from such structural perfection the most important aspect of gaur saraswat brahman community that is gsb community Since the time when Aryans and other ancestors migrated on the banks of river Saraswati this community was formed These people were very attached about their deities like Mangesh Santa Durga Maharsa Mahalakshmi and Kamakshi During the Portuguese and Mughal regime the people along with these temples migrated to nearby places Present day Goa still witnesses the dedication of its people towards the deities emotions and stories attached with it Goa a forever announcement where time moves to a different clock from the rest of the world where the past is but a mirror of gilded present where the confluence of cultures meet and flow together in a single rapturous stream Goan culture is not just beaches and beer it's a blend of indian and european styles portuguese churches alongside hindu temples it's rich in folk culture with a delightful blend of vigorous konkani folk songs and remains of portuguese culture it's a place where christianity and hinduism coexist with its rich architectural spiritual and religious heritage